I would watch this before buying the Ninja Air Fryer Pro. Today, I want to share my feedback, AKA review on the Ninja Air Fryer Pro. I bought the Ninja Air Fryer Pro Black Friday 2021 with very high hopes. One feature in particular, let me show you. It flips up and out of the way, creating more counter space for you to use. But unfortunately, about three months after I bought it, I started noticing particular things and started to regret my purchase. All right, let's tap into the key features and the claims of the Ninja Air Fryer Pro. The max cooking temperature is 450 degrees. As stated before, it flips up and out of the way to create more counter space. It has a stainless steel modern look, so it'll blend in with pretty much any kitchen aesthetics. It has an oven light, so you can turn on the light to see how the food is doing without actually having to open the door of the oven. The oven is ready to go in 60 seconds flat. The air fryer feature claims that your foods would have up to 60% less fat when cooked this way. It cooks pieces up to 13 inches in diameter. It can toast up to nine pieces of bread at one time. And it air fries or roast up to four pounds. The Air Fryer Pro allows you to prepare food in up to eight different ways. So you have the air fry feature, broil, air roast, bake, toast, bagels, reheat, and dehydrate. All right, guys, let's start with the settings panel. We're going to push the power button to turn it on. And as you see, there are some default cooking modes, times, and temperatures. So to change your time, you'll press the time button. And with this knob, you would adjust your time. To choose the way you want to cook your food, you would press mode. And again, you would use the knob to select your cooking mode. To choose your desired temperature, you press the temperature button. And again, use the knob to select your desired temperature. Once your mode, temperature, and time is set for cooking, you simply press this button. It takes about 60 seconds to heat up. Let's go ahead and shut it down. All you have to do is press this knob. And I don't know if you can hear, but there's a cooling fan in the back that's actually cooling down the air fryer. We're gonna open this up and I'll tell you what came with the actual air fryer, okay? The 13 by 13 sheet pan. The wire rack. The 13 by 13 air fryer basket. And then you have a removable crumb tray. But at the moment, I cannot remove that. I'll tell you more about that here in a bit. Also came with a cookbook, but to be honest, I have no idea what I did with it. So if you notice, there's weirdness going on with this 13 by 13 sheet pan. So around month three, I cooked bacon on this sheet pan. I actually put foil over it to protect it while cooking the bacon. But as time went by, I noticed that I started getting these warped spots on it just in random places. I thought maybe it was like bacon grease left behind, but after trying to use dishwashing liquid or done power wash or even soft scrub um, sponges, I could not get this stuff to remove. It's just bumpy. Not sure what that is, but that was a no-go. If you notice, with the 13 by 13 air fryer 
basket, there was discoloration that occurred around month three. Also, the thing I did not like with this wire mesh is that food got caught in between the little mesh pieces. It was very difficult to remove. There was a lot of scrubbing power, um, brushes and soaking to get this clean, even up to this point, which is not really even clean. The wire rack also became discolored over time. Well, the story about the crumb tray, as you see, I cannot get this out. I have no idea why. I usually just slides right out, but over time I could not remove it. But it's necessary because this is where all the grease and the crumbs hit. So I needed to actually clean it. So since I couldn't remove it, I used multi-purpose spray. Then I used Dawn Power Wash because this stuff is fantastic. But when that didn't work, I tried oven cleaner. I mean, it's an oven, so why can I not use oven cleaner? But as you see, a lot of discoloration. And now every time I turn on the oven, it smokes because apparently I didn't get all the chemicals out. And at that point, I no longer used it because I don't want chemicals in my food. At this moment, I can actually smell the chemicals that I used in there about a month ago. Something I found fairly gross is that if I flip the oven up without cleaning it well, oils and juices would come out the back of the oven and onto the counter space. There was one thing I didn't notice previous to this video, and it's also something that I am finding as a con at this moment because it did previously work. Whenever the oven cools down, the fan stops. It used to say flip to let you know it was safe to flip it up. I no longer see that anymore. I grew to love the Ninja Blender, which was the reason it prompted me to get the Ninja Air Fryer Pro. I gave this oven a fair shot for a year, but a month after the one year anniversary, I officially gave up. Black Friday 2022, I purchased the New Wave Bravo XL. I'm crossing my fingers and my toes, hoping that the Bravo will make up for what this one lacked. All right, you guys, until next time, peace out.